All right, on the day of recording this, it is 07-2024, which is the day of Tedocon, meaning everybody who has watched from the time of 11 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. has now acquired AX-52, or am I being just the AK-47? So, what do I think about this weapon? Because I've already used it and given it some forma. Well, it's phenomenal. This weapon has a unique trait that has, when it's hip-fired, you get plus 60% ammo efficiency, and when you are getting aimed headshots, you get a plus 100% crit chance. Well, to me, this gun is the best definition of a galvanized scope's best friend. It's a marksman rifle, basically. So the way I built it is we have armor, viral slash and corpus. I'll be doing the same thing I did in one of my other videos where I'll show off all three builds, tell you about them, then show you all three builds being used against their factions in a uh, in a row. So I'll get to the builds and then we'll see how it fares. Then we'll go to steel path. All right, so the first build is armor based. Basically, we'll be running uh, double 60s for the corrosive modifier. We'll have shred for fire rate, but mostly for the punch through because it has none on base. Battle sense for the crit damage, galvanized scope for the crit chance, galvanized chamber for multi shots. So, Rache because I couldn't figure out what else to put on here, but obviously replace this whatever, with whatever you feel fits. And galvanized app too because I'm still using my priming pet, uh, which is my hound recruit. Next up is Viral Slash. Once again, we'll be running Viral, but this time we'll have 100 Munitions and Vital Sense. And once again, same thing, so this time now we're running Shred instead of Serration. And finally, we have Corpus, which uses Point Strike, Vital Sense, Shred, and Malignant Force for Toxin. You could replace this with just the Dash with Infected Clip, Galvanized Chamber, Galvanized Scope, Galvanized Aptitude, and Serration. Now, the reason there isn't crit on uh, two of these builds is because of the, the trait of giving plus 100% crit chance. So I said, let's just use galvanized um, scope because it literally requires you to aimed headshots to get that extra 100. So you might as well double dip. The arcane for all of them will also be deadhead for each one. Now, let's go see how it fares against each individual faction that this was built for. Before I start killing, first up will be the armored one. It'll go in order that I showed it and there will be no uh, priming during the show test that will be during steel path just so everyone knows ahead of time so let's go ahead and get into killing All right, that was the three builds. Slight change that I made to two of them is now the armored one now has Bane of Grenier and the Corpus one now has Prime Bane of Corpus. The one that's meant for the Orican is not going to be running Primed Bane of the Orican, mainly because it's not necessary with it and without it. It still was roughly the same amount of time to kill. Although if you really want, you do not need to have Deadhead. You could easily run Prime Bane Merciless or depending on the element you're using, run that element. So I'm going to go ahead and get all my other things set up. We're going to bring Recruit along to a survival and we'll see how it fares against well, a, a steel path mission. I'll see y'all there. All right, and we are in. So I brought Jade along just for the bonus to being one of my favorite gunslingers at the moment. So how does the weapon fare in an actual mission? Well, obviously it's going to fare quite nicely because while well, the enemies are still once again weak to viral and uh, the weapon's just a crit monster. It's once again, like I had said during the uh, uh, during the simulacrum is that it is literally a marksman's favorite rifle. Was that? I didn't even see what Lotus said. But it's just, even without getting the boost to, like, my um, weapon strength, it's, it's hitting quite nicely even without extra crit. So what happens if I add on top of squad weapon damage increase? Well, well that doesn't seem that, that nice or necessary. It's still going to basically kill with ease. Does a, it does nice damage. My only complaint with the weapon so far from the little bit that I have used it during uh, leveling up, forming, stuff like that, is that it just, the 40 bullets feels a little off compared to all the weapons we currently have. For this being a single target weapon with only 40 bullets, it feels lacking compared to things like the Soma or the Burst On or stuff like that. Because while the Burst On does indeed have low amounts of bullets, it does have its Incarnon, which gives it, well, even more bullets on top of that. So it could just be a thing where it may need to be changed to give it more bullets or just it may not be that used as often, but it does feel nice to use overall. Oh, wait, we are about to get a Xmas unit, which I have not actually fought yet with this thing. What did we get? Ah, Leech Xmas. Well, it dies just fast. So I'll go ahead and get back to y'all whenever a um, Acolyte spawns, because that's obviously going to be the biggest test for this weapon. 
All right, the um, Acolyte is here. Ooh, we got Torment. That's not bad. Oh, uh, where, is, where are they? Oh, they're below me. Okay. Go and get our things back up before they obviously figure out how to get up here. Oh, yep, there they are. So how does it handle against them? Well, obviously, since it is a crit-based weapon, hitting headshots on them is obviously the best move. Sadly, this one does get rid of all their statuses, so they finally feel like moving. Oh, well, that's new. I didn't know they could pull me. I'd say it handles quite well, especially with them being the one that gets rid of a lot of their uh, statuses. The weapon does handle quite well on headshots. Obviously, it gets 100% crit chance on its headshots, which makes it just that much more of a monster as long as you're really good at hitting your shots, which I kind of am and kind of not. That isn't obvious yet. But overall, it is quite a nice weapon. So I will finish up this mission, head back to my orbiter, and give my final thoughts on it and what I think about it as a uh, Twitch drop overall. So I'll see y'all back in the... Come on, turn around. I'll see y'all back in the orbiter. All right, at the uh, end of this, funnily enough, a, a hotfix came out, so I had to quickly update my game. So what do I think about the AX-52? To me, the AX-52 is a very fun weapon to use. I liked using it. My biggest issue with it is that it does not have a lot of bullets. 40 bullets doesn't feel all that, well, useful, especially when we have things like the Soma, which has 200. Normal Soma has 100. Uh, the uh, Boltor, I believe, has 60. Yeah, it has 60. The Burst On has 45. Granted, that's not that much more. But again, it's a single target weapon, which is kind of ow, lacking whenever it comes to other weapons in this game, because there are things, like I just said, like we get the Fage, the Paris Prime, which has its Incarnon. We have the Tord, which has AoE, uh, the Glaxion, the Amprex, the Cedo. There's so many weapons that do AoE that outclass it. But it is a very fun and gimmicky weapon because, again, the headshots give you plus 100% crit chance, which is very useful and very fun to use. So you just have to build scope instead of having to run actual crit on the weapon. But I think it's a pretty good weapon overall. Yeah, I'd give it a solid B, A tier rating for single target weapons. So I'll hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that like button and do subscribe so you get notified whenever I post another video by hitting that bell. If y'all want to catch me live, by the way, I do stream on Twitch, which I had posted yes, uh, a couple days ago where I was posting my stream schedule. I also have my Discord that's active, my Twitter, and like I said, my Twitch. Tell me what weapon y'all want to see in the comments below and tell me how y'all build the AX-52. Obviously, I don't build perfect weapons, but these are just guys to make sure y'all understand how you should roughly build the weapon. So I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Have a great rest of y'all's day.